It's about a, actually it's about a woman. Uh, she was in the 60s, she was a very famous photo model um, in Germany. And, uh, and she was also known for her affairs with Mick Jagger, with Keith Richards, Jimi Hendrix and all the you know, musicians. I mean, th three of them. And um, the movie is about her life, and, and the movie is about her love. It's a, it's a love movie about the love to life. Especially in Greece. Mm -hmm. It's not that easy like in Germany because Germans know, of course, Uschi Obermeier. The, the, the Greek people should see the movie because it's a really nice love story. It shows so many elements, you know, like all the world, the traveling of her, and all the, the bad situations that she had to deal with, like, for example, losing her child or, you know, all the drugs, all the drug experience back then in the days. Um, the music, the, the, you know, the people, especially our generation, I'm 27, I think you're similar age. Yeah, I'm 24. Yeah, 24. You can see how it was in the 60s, how easy it was, you know, all the hippie, how hippie, hippie way of living and um, the philosophy of music, of, um, of trying everything, you know, on, on their own skin and you know, not not being under pressure to to with the school, with the job, and everything. Everything was so beautiful and easy, you know, which is not really today. You know, it, it's a lesson. Like she's a very strong woman. I mean, today she's 60, and back then she was like we shot it from 18 to 35. So she lost someone. You know, someone died. I don't want to tell who because you have to see the movie, of course. And she lost one, two, two important person, and uh, she, you know, dealing with love, to fall in love with one person, to love maybe another person, and then you have three people you love, and you can't decide, you know, and it's um, you, you, you just see how free the woman was, how strong she was, and. Um, First of all, for example, when she was with that political guy, with Rainer Langlands, it's called in Germany, um, she lost herself because she wasn't at all into politics. So she, she went there to, to these people who were very intellectual, very intelligent, and she was, you know, kind of a simple, simple girl. And she had, you know, to fight very much to, to, to show that she's not stupid, although she's not very intelligent. And um, she learned a lot, lot of lessons, of course, of relationships and, and, and all the decisions that she made, you know. It's a very strong woman and maybe especially for women it's going to be very, very, very interesting to see how, how you can, you know, when you dream of something, how it can become reality. They, they, they wanted to try to lose their, their um, how do you say, their limits, you know, they, they didn't want to have the, the relationship of two people, but because everything was open and it was in, in, in one, one, one big room and you had to, you know, to talk about the problems, when you had a problem you had to talk in front of everyone, you had to share everything. And this is not easy. I couldn't, I couldn't feel with that. Today, I think, you know, you, we have the, the Big Brother stuff, it's almost the same, because the camera and many people there, and they have the problems and everything, but, um, but of course Big Brother is not political. And they were really into, you know, activities, political activities, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it was very different. Some of them liked it very much. The people who was like 60 year old, like the, the 60s generation, they liked it. The young people, especially my generation, they don't know Ushi Ubermaya that much or at all. So it was, you know, kind of hard of understand everything. And um, of course, the problem was that the, the unfortunately they, they wanted to be the movie for children from 12 years up. And we wanted to make the movie, especially the director wanted it to be from 18 years old. 
So you know they cut a lot of stuff, like a lot of you know very emotional, very deep emotions, all the drug stuff, sex, but yeah, unfortunately. The big critic critics was Ushi herself, and she told me that it's okay for her. Absolutely, she sees herself in me and how I act and, and what I'm you know showing there in the movie. It's absolutely okay for her. So. What other people say, they can say, okay, she's not playing like Ushi because she told me that.